pas la fortif ou tif magie à crash of market ou hey, 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 oh. ma people mais qu'on a conçu waiting the happen pdp na dans des support labor party na pdp na dans des work with labor party because they know the an an chairman they want to prove them it is saying get sense the way that they don't want they don't they dig it like come for grand they don't they dig grand if na see the analyst of this video when i want show na so everything when they do hide he don't comment i don't need me to talk i go live on that make on a watch the way they they talk Make una watch them. As you they watch and so my brother, make una share this video. Make una leave na comment for the comment section. Now the first time when you come across this video, now be this. Can you follow this page? Like it so that Facebook will recommend it to other people to see too. I don't come again. Come again on the killers now. Oh, oh, we do use go. Don't forget, say we have national tell this plus one more. Make say na ba brum, brum na ba. I will leave una make watch them. Now be this so na talk. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Benjamin, and I'm the presidential candidate of the fictional Common Sense People's Party. Now. The Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission, RMAFC, have come out to say they want to increase the salaries of elected officials, not just increase. They are going to double it and still add on top 114% increase in the salaries of Tinubu, Shetima, governors and, you know, senators and House of Rep members. So, subsidy has been removed and the people are suffering. They have been told that they are going to enjoy it later. But elected officials will start enjoying their own now. <laughs> and this move, subject to presidential approval, was very heavily condemned by His Excellency Peter Obi, a man who, who has already been talking about cutting down the cost of governance. But before I break that down, let me quickly bring you the summary of the court sessions. And it is no longer news that INEC have lost this legal battle. And if you see the kind of anger, the kind of aggression that was being displayed in court by INEC and APC lawyers, Oh, it was, it, at a point it became, you know, irritating. The kind of anger, the way they were just shouting, you will know that these are defeated men. You will know that they have no other way to go around this case other than just to try to shout down witnesses, to try to play tricks. And when the witnesses don't fall for the tricks, they become angry and they flare up. First of all, Articles Witness, who is a forensic expert, exposed how INEC deleted the presidential election result for the FCT from the Beavers because their anointed candidate did not score 25% of the total vote cast in the FCT. And you know, Section 134 requires that. But this is the same INEC that was saying that it's not necessary. 25% is not necessary. Why would Congo delete the presidential results for FCT where they the Beavers? They did it. Little did they know that once data enters the beavers, it cannot be deleted completely. Once you bring experts, experts can always retrieve it. Now that one, where that forensic expert exposed, now he first called the Vex INEC. And this is Atiku now, working for Peter Obi. Because even him, Atiku, did not score 25% in the FCT. <laughs> now, when it was time for Labour Party, Livy Ozoku, the lead council, stepped up and he announced equal to Sam as the person that will be leading proceedings for Labour Party. Labour Party presented their first witness of the day, a professor and a cyber security expert. I know when it comes to all these uh, ICT things, the INEC and APC lawyers, Tinubu lawyers, they don't know anything about them. So when this professor stepped up to be cross-examined, the INEC lawyer came up and the professor schooled him, took him to the cleaners. And when he schooled him and finished him, the INEC lawyer left and Tinubu's lawyer came angry because of how the professor had schooled the INEC lawyer. Netinubu's lawyer began to cross-examine the witness and the highlight of that cross-examination was when he, he was now saying, Labour Party, your party that brought you here, you know, trying to make the witness, you know, rope himself into saying that he's a Labour Party supporter to render his witness useless. But the witness stood his ground. He said, I am a professional who was contracted to do a job. Then Tinubu's counsel said, are you aware that Labour Party won in Anambra? The witness said, I'm not aware. He started asking basic questions just to connect the witness to Labour Party. He said, are you aware that Labour Party won states and over 6 million votes in the last election? The witness said, I am not aware. At this point, Tinubu's lawyer was getting angry. He said, the links that you added to your statements, do you expect this honourable court to go and download those links before they read it? The witness said, no, I can explain why I did that. He said, no, don't explain. The Labour Party counsel caught in and said, he said he wants to explain himself. Tinubu's counsel shouted, I am on my feet, sit down. I don't need his explanation. The witness said, let me explain myself. Tinubu's counsel shouted back. I said, I don't need your explanation. <laughs> Open counsel now answered. So why did you ask the question? That was when Tinubu's counsel fled up totally. He said, you are making me shout. Don't get me annoyed. I said, I don't need your explanation. <laughs> and all this points to one thing. It points to defeat. And Nigerians can see it. Even though they deprive us, we don't televise this court case, which would have been very sweet. But some of us have been able to get it out there for everybody to see. And Nigerians are seeing it now. We are far from the end of this case, and INEC and APC and all, they are already defeated. And that was how Tinubu's counsel left. 
Now the APC counsel stepped up and began his cross examination of the professor. And the highlight was when he asked the professor, did you interrogate any Amazon Web Service staff? And the witness answered, no, but I interrogated their server, which is more superior to their staff. Then the APC lawyer asked, where is the report? The witness said, it is there on paragraph 24, if you can help me read it. <laughs> Surprisingly, the APC lawyer read it. And after reading it, the witness looked at him and said, that is it. What else do you want? And everybody in court started laughing. APC lawyer became angry, very angry. He said, you think we don't know what we are doing here? Are you aware that there are over 170 polling units in Nigeria? Then the witness answered. He said, actually, there are 178,846 polling units. Wow. At this point, everybody in court began shaking their heads. They almost started clapping. And then the APC lawyer became very angry and he admitted it. He said, I don't have questions for you again. I am very angry. I'm not asking you any questions again. And that was how he walked away ashamed because he was humiliated by this witness. The witness turned everything on his head and became the boss of the show. And at this point, everybody on INEC and APC and Tinubu side in court became so angry because everything became obvious. And Nigerians are saying this and they are saying, wait till remain again. Judiciary, you have seen all this. Our eyes are on you to do the needful. Now, on to the proposed increase in the salaries of elected officials by 114%. His Excellency Peter Obi came out to condemn it. And this was how the papers reported it. I learned with great reservation the approval of a 114% increase in the salaries of elected politicians, including the presidents, vice presidents, governors, lawmakers, as well as judicial and public office holders, by the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission, RMAFC, Mr. Peter Obi said. This is not the appropriate time for such salary increment, if it is at all necessary. We are living in a time when an average Nigerian is struggling with many harsh economic realities and with over 130 million Nigerians now living in poverty, explained the former Anambra governor. This is a moment when recent reform measures by the government have increased living costs astronomically, he added. The sacrifice at this time in our nation should be borne by leaders. The increment should be reversed immediately and the savings should be devoted to fixing education, health care, and poverty alleviation, especially in remote rural areas. Oh, now this is His Excellency Peter Obi, who was even talking about the reduction in the salaries of public holders, even before this increment. During the campaign, he was already talking about reducing the money where public office holders they collect. Now, to call the talk of, say, they won't increase that money, not only increment, but they will double it and still add 14%, 114% increase. Well, I think his write-up says it all. I don't need to say more. You have now seen the kind of man that His Excellency Peter Obi is. And that is why many Nigerians, they clamor for him. And today is another day in court for him and his legal team. And we are saying all eyes on the judiciary. Make their use the constitution, the laws of the land, and the evidence where they ground. Make their use and take translate. This case made them talk true without fear and without favor. Our eyes are on the judiciary. Eh, anyhow, maybe we will bring you updates from there later. Eh, but maybe we forfeit continue to the bring you updates. <laughs> I need to enter town. They can go get some Ogbonge political updates where we not go like. Why? Because that because of now. Now nah, I didn't hear. So don't go. <laughs> Order people to.